James Cleverly, thank you very much for being on the programme. We can sort of feel conference being taken down <laughs> around us. Um, you've just come from your speech. It felt to me like it was a pitch for the Conservative centre. Is that fair? It's a pitch for the whole of the Conservative family. And that's the point I'm making. I have got backers right from day one who are regarded by some, but I don't really see it like this, as from the left of the Parliamentary Party, from the right of the Parliamentary Party, from the centre of the Parliamentary Party. As the leader of the party, you have to inspire the whole family, not just one segment of it. And that's what I hope to do in uh, the auditorium today. It feels like I have G'd up the troops, which is what we need, and I'm very very pleased that the conference has gone well. One line stuck out from your speech. Let's be more normal. <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to get out there? We have to look, feel, sound, talk more like the people that we want to vote for us. So, you know, we, 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 can, we can talk about all the uh, Westminster bubbly type things. Like what? Well, you know... <sighs> Now you put me on the spot. I can't. I can't think of anything. Maybe I'm too normal. Um, but, but the but the point is the 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 infighting, the factionalism, all that kind of me 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 introspection that really turned off the voters. And we need to get back into talking about the kind of issues that people feel in their daily lives. Do, do, do you think you're the most normal of the four candidates then? Well, that's but, that's okay. not for me to judge. That's for others to judge. But what, what do you think? Well, in all the polling that I've seen, I get. I get better cut through. There you go, that's a Westminster bubble term. I get better cut through with most people. And that's what we need to do. We need to, we need to, we need to not necessarily just speak their language, but hear their voices, understand I mean, you're, better. You're, you're you know? skirting around it a little bit there, but we know what you mean. You're, you're basically saying, I'm the normal guy, these guys are less normal than I am. And the other it's thing you said, I didn't complain about net migration or walk away from the challenge, I got it down. Who are you talking about there? Well, look. You can get into polit politics to, to talk about stuff, and that's very tempting when you're in opposition, and, and, and just be angry, or you can get into politics to make change, to improve lives. You're, you're talking about Robert Jenrick there, aren't you? That well, look, he walked away... So I've never resigned, from, I've never resigned from government, uh, and, and, and sometimes sticking, you know, sticking put and grafting it out is the harder option rather than the, than the easier option. You talked a lot in your speech as well, saying that you want to be in power, you want to be PM in four years. Mm. So you, you, it's a serious pitch. Mm. But some of your policies feel, I guess, like pure opposition. Defence spending 3% of GDP, get rid of stamp duty, the state never taking more than half of any pound you take. I mean, come on, like, you know, Paul Johnson of the IFS, we speak out of his cup, cup of tea looking at these figures. So I'm not here to try and impress Paul. Very, very smart guy. The point I'm making is if the leader of the Conservative Party can't stand up publicly and say that the tax burden being at the highest it has ever been, but yet we can't even discuss reducing taxes, we are goners. Mm -hmm. On the international stage, we are goners. So I want to bring taxes down. To bring taxes down, you have to reduce some spending. I want to protect the country, first duty of government, which is why the one area that's a real outlier is defence spending. But compared with the spending that we put into uh, health, into welfare, for example, that additional, you know, 0.7% uh, of GDP is very modest compared with other areas of expenditure. I am going to explain to the British people how they can have more liberated lives and pay less in tax. You've got a reputation, you know, talking about the fact you want BPM, and, and I just should just say I'm aware of the chaos going around us, so thanks for battling through. Um, you want to be PM, but there's a question mark about whether you're prime ministerial enough. You've got a reputation, frankly, for being a bit brash, you know, joking about spiking your wife's drink with Rahipnol, allegedly calling Dr North a something hole that I can't see on which TV, uh, which she's saying that you didn't. Uh, no, referring to your which Dem, I didn't. <laughs> referring to your Lib Dem coalition colleague and Simon Hughes as a four-letter word starting with a D. I mean, you know, it, you might be a laugh in the pub, but is this really appropriate for someone who wants to be PM? Sophie, I've been in frontline politics for 20 years. I have been the public face and voice of the Conservative Party on so many interviews like this, and over a 20-year career, you've picked three examples. I, I am warts and all, you know where you stand, but seriously, if your accusation 
is three examples over 20 years. I don't really think that's a valid criticism. Taking a, a step back from conference, the big question everyone's talking about is momentum. Mm -hmm. Who's got the momentum? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people talking about your speech saying it's you. Are you confident that you're going to get into the final two? How confident? Well, look, the three other candidates are really good candidates, but I knew that this is my space. These are, these are people that I've campaigned uh, alongside for decades. I've always felt comfortable in conference, and at conference, you can't hide. You can't hide from the media, you can't hide from the members, you can't hide from scrutiny. If you're wearing a mask, the mask will slip. I've never been anything other than myself, so I always felt confident that that would come across. I've been picking up um, uh, backers and endorsements and more commitments for votes uh, from MPs. So I'm very happy with my performance at uh, conference. OK, I'm going to let you go. Um, thank you very much indeed. Sophie, thanks very much.